Hey guys, uh, Jason here from cricketstoreonline.com and after a bit of a hiatus uh, from doing uh, cricket gear reviews, I'm back and uh, very happy to announce the new 2015 range of Gun & Moore cricket bats. Uh, the full range is now in stock, uh, anything you see on the website uh, is available and we can ship it out to you same day as well. Uh, today's review, I'm going to start off with uh, reviewing a new bat that Gunnamoor have brought into the range and that's the new uh, Gunnamoor Mogul. Um, you, won't, you won't see any players using them at the moment, but in 2015 you will see uh, Quinton de Kock uh, wielding this bat. This is uh, one of his player's editions um, and I've got uh, four of them here in stock right now and I'm sure they're going to sell very, very quickly. The main difference between this Mogul player's edition and the rest of the moguls is that the uh, rest of the mogul range is actually a 4.5 face. Um, all of you will know by now uh, the three different faces that GM offer, and the F7, the F4.5 and the F2. The player edition is actually an F2. Quinton de Kock likes the flatter face. The benefit of the flatter face is that it helps you place the ball a little bit better into the gaps. It's, the ball is going to go sort of more where you, where you hit it, whereas the rounded face tends to deflect a little bit. But anyway, uh, all of these bats are around 2.9 or 2.10. Uh, they've got a, about a 36 millimeter edge, uh, a very little bit of concaving, not too much at all. Uh, but one of the things I do like is the concentrated uh, sweet spot. Although it, it, it is extended, <clears throat> with it being a player edition, this is the absolute best, best willow. Um, so that's just a quick look for you at that. Uh, then we can go through the range. Um, like I said, these, uh, the rest of the range is all a 4.5 face. Uh, this is an original alley, just a just a beautiful piece of willow, uh, and just an excellent bat. Let me bounce the ball on it there for you. Does ping extremely well, and this is definitely a 2020 style bat. If you're playing aggressive kind of cricket, um, like we know Quinton de Kock likes to do, then the Mogul is definitely for you. Um, it's uh, they've taken a bit of weight away from the top by the splice uh, and left it all down the bottom. Um, some bats in the market that are already like this, you might uh, be familiar with, for example, the Affinity Carbine, uh, the uh, Hammerhell 156. These are also bats with uh, concentrated sweet spots, um, and uh, this is no different. An absolutely awesome bat. Uh, we can go right down the range here for you. That's a, a gorgeous GM original. Uh, we've got the Mogul 909. Um, so this is the entry level grade 1. <clears throat> then you go down to grade 2. It's the uh, 808. Uh, then I've also got the 606, uh, which is a, a fantastic bat. That's a beautifully clean piece of willow with one, two, three, four, five, six grains on it. And then we also go down to the more junior bats. I've also got these. Uh, this is a 303. Uh, the 303 gun and bats still have the uh, print on the front there on the face. And then I'll also go down, we've got 404s in Harrows. Um, we've got a 606 here in a Harrow. Um, also something I'd like to bring to your attention here, this is actually a ladies bat. Um, so this is a woman's size. Um, this is a 606 mogul and weighs around the 26 mark. So if you're looking for anything like that, uh, thanks for stopping by. This is the new GM mogul uh, from uh, Gunnamoor, which uh, Quinton de Kock is going to be using. So thanks for watching this little video. I'm going to be doing a ton more for you guys and looking uh, to get them out ASAP. Catch you later. Bye.